State Superintendent goes to Washington, D.C. and finds an ally in the White House to find no child left behind. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. I will, Idaho will be among the first states to apply for a waiver from the federal government to skirt provisions of the No Child Left Behind law. That's according to Idaho State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tom Luna. Luna joined President Barack Obama and U.S. Education Secretary Artie Duncan today at the White House as they gave states guidance on this nine-year-old now federal law. Idaho was one of the first to vow it would ignore the latest No Child Left Behind requirements, saying they set unrealistic benchmarks. Under the Obama administration's plan, the states can ask the U.S. Department of Education to be exempted from some of the law's requirements if they meet certain conditions. The terms include enacting standards to prepare students for college and careers and making teachers and principals more accountable. It's a move Idaho's public schools chief strongly supports. That's why you see a conservative guy like Tom Luna at the White House with President Obama, a guy that, a president that uh, most Idahoans and even myself agree with very seldom. But in this case, the president got it right. He is responding to states telling the federal government to give us the, give us the control over our schools, hold us accountable, but uh, give us the flexibility and we will hold ourselves to a very high level of accountability and that's what we saw. The first step uh, was today with the, with the president's announcement. Superintendent Luna says Idaho is already meeting the provisions of exemption thanks to his Students Come First law. We'll have more on Luna's visit tonight at 10 o'clock.